Next up, we're going to hear from Queens County State's Attorney Lance Richardson to talk about the Good Samaritan Law. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about Maryland's Good Samaritan Law. This is found in the Annotated Code of Maryland, Criminal Procedure, Section 1210. The Good Samaritan Law came about five years ago as a result of the opioid epidemic that was killing young people all over the country. Maryland enacted this law basically to save lives. And the gist of the law is that if you do the right thing, if you call 911, if you seek medical assistance for someone who is in the midst of an overdose or alcohol poisoning, you will not be criminally prosecuted. Why did they enact this law? Well, obviously we want to prosecute drug possession, drug offenses, but human life is precious and that's why this law came into effect. I had a case where a woman was convicted of manslaughter because she was using drugs, specifically heroin, with a friend. And then he was suffering a, an overdose, a medical emergency. And out of fear of being charged criminally, she did not call 911. Ultimately, her friend died. She dumped his body in the parking lot of a church. And she was found guilty of manslaughter, which is a serious felony found in the murder statute. So the legislature said, we want people to do the right thing without fear of being arrested and charged in court. So um, unfortunately, in Queen Anne's County, we've had about 12 fatal overdoses a year for the last several years. And Narcan is the substance that saves these lives. All of our police, our EMTs, our medical professionals carry Narcan. And if you get to a person who is suffering an overdose in enough time and administer Narcan, you can save their life. And that is why uh, this law under criminal procedure is designed to save these lives. So um, medical assistance, even if you're on Route 301, someone's in the car, uh, overdosed on drugs, and you drive them to the Nesbitt Road Emergency Center, uh, that's a way of seeking medical assistance. If you go to the fire department, seek medical assistance, that will basically save the person from criminal prosecution. Uh, these overdoses happen every day. We're saving many lives by people calling 911, people who otherwise would not call because of fear of prosecution. Alcohol as well. The Good Samaritan law protects you from criminal prosecution for drugs or alcohol. And on co college campuses around the country, People die every year from alcohol poisoning. Young people who do 21 shots of alcohol for their 21st birthday, people don't realize that alcohol is deadly just like heroin and fentanyl. It's the number one killer of young people up to the age of 35. It used to be fatal car crashes, not anymore. Now it's alcohol and fentanyl. Um, so if you're in this situation, please call 911. Get medical attention for someone who's in an overdose crisis. And um, if you do the right thing, you do not have to fear being charged criminally. Um, that's what life is precious. And that's what we want the word to go out to our community uh, to get help for someone. Um, you know, don't worry about uh, what's going to happen with the police or anything else. Don't think that somebody can just sleep it off if they're severely intoxicated. That person very well may never wake up. Um, call 911, get them help, and hopefully they're gonna be fine. But you're gonna be fine as well. I'm gonna take that into consideration that you did the right thing and um, you will not have to suffer the consequences in court. So that is Maryland's Good Samaritan Law. Thank you for listening.